Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I wanna show you how you can use the all new generative erase tool inside of On One Photo Raw 2025 to remove blown out areas within your clouds and in your skies. So let's dive in and take a look. So we're inside Photo Raw 2025 and we have this photograph here. And as we can see from the sky, we have some pretty large blown out areas. Now, if I wanna check my clipping warnings here, I can just hold down the J key on my keyboard so I'll see if I have any clipping warning. So it looks like I have a ton of highlight clipping going on up in my sky. Now we could try to fix some of the clipping with our tone and color pane here. We could go in and modify the highlights, maybe dim things down a bit. But even doing that, we're probably not gonna bring back much of that detail within that particular section of our sky simply because it is really overexposed. But what we can do is we can use the all new generative erase tool instead of photo raw to bring back some of those clouds and some details in our sky. So I'm just going to grab my generative erase tool here and I'll just paint over some of these sections that I want to clean up a bit. Maybe get up here a little bit to make it blend. And we're just going to select this little icon here to generate some clouds in our sky and remove that blown out section. And that generative erase tool has done a really awesome job filling in that blown out sky section there with some clouds that match our original environment. So let's check out our layers pane here. We can take a look at the before and the after. So we have the original and then we have after. So a much more appealing sky there and we lose all of that blown out highlight clipped area and everything looks much more natural to the eye. So that's the all new generative erase tool instead of on one photo raw 2025, just one of the many new features coming soon in the latest version. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.